barbecue chicken on the Blackstone, Hawaiian style. That's right, we're going back to the island today. If you want to see our take on this Hawaiian plate lunch favorite, then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins, they're right there. That's one of them, that's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. But if this is your first time here with us, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. So you don't miss any of these cooks that we do on the Blackstone Griddle. Because we like to do this all the time. We really, really do. We absolutely love the Blackstone. We love cooking. And when you put the two together, you get us cooking on the Blackstone. We love it. <laughs> and if you love us doing that, give this a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. And just in case you are new and you don't know, we do upload three times a week. Right now, our schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday afternoons. We love it. We love uploading because that just means we have to make food. Oh, darn. To upload. Oh, so darn. we're going to keep doing it. We absolutely do love it. By the way, at the end of the video, after we're done cooking and after we taste this delectable dish, we, we I know it's delectable. I've made this. Yeah. I love this one. And I have it, so I'm excited for this. Stick around. We do have a mail time segment. We love these. We love getting some goodies from people. But we really appreciate it, and we're super excited for this. So stick around. This one is super easy, simple, super easy ingredients. In fact, Brett, let's talk about the groceries. Yeah, let's get right into it. As you can see, front and center right here, right in your face, bam homemade mac salad. It's a part of all traditional Hawaiian plate lunches. And then we've got the barbecue chicken here marinating as it has been now for About several four hours. Four or five hours. Four or yeah. five hours. And then not pictured is the rice because it is currently in the rice bait maker being prepared as we speak. And of course, as you can see, we're gonna have a mail segment at the end. <laughs> we're so excited for this. The Hawaiian barbecue sauce is actually like a, like a traditional teriyaki, teriyaki yep. but it is so good. We make our own because it is so simple for this marinade. We made some marinade. We, we have some extra off to the side in case we want to dip some more or get oh, it in that in rice. in case we want to. We want to. <laughs> <laughs> but this is so awesome. Before we do get to the cook real quick, we just wanted to mention we do have our merchandise. Yep, exactly right. And including the, the latest edition is, uh, apart from the griddle on, is the moisture wicking teas that we have that are now available not only in the griddle me that's fat man, but griddle on as well. Absolutely. I just, he was so close to the pool, I was debating pushing him in. 100,000. 100,000 100, subscribers, <laughs> he's going in the pool. We've already if discussed If you see this. me show up to a cook and I've got I've got my, my flippers on and a swimsuit underneath <laughs> this apron, snorkel. I might, may or may not be anticipating something. <laughs> I just started showing up. We'll get close to 100,000. I'm just gonna we'll start showing him. up with my, we'll with my water wings. <laughs> we'll get him. <laughs> also though, another way to support the Wall Twins if you're so inclined, and we absolutely are so grateful to our griddle entourage, we do also have a Patreon. Yeah, Patreon, you have a little more access to us. The link for our Patreon is right below this uh, video. Again, we are so grateful to our griddle entourage, those who do support us. This is a dream of ours, and we want to keep being able to cook and do this forever, because we absolutely love it. Beans the You've made this before. Let me make it. All right, sounds good. Okay. So I guess I don't need a glove up. Brett's going to go ahead and do the cook on this. We do have a lot of chicken. I want to make sure we had a lot for the family. Yes. So oh, we only, in fact, burners. we need to get, yeah, that right. may not be enough. Let's go ahead. We only got the two burners going. And so what we're going to do, we're going to cook this on medium low. Let's get all four burners going. Okay. All right. All four burners are on. So um, really simple. It's going to be a little bit of oil and the chicken. And we're going to watch it cook. And then it's going to be all she wrote. All right, bro. So let's get a little bit of oil down. Now, this griddle has been on for a little bit. You see it smoking. Yep. So uh, smoking. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Listen to that cook already. Crowd Brett, is going we can wild. probably bring those down to low mostly because that was on for about a good 10 minutes. So let me get those turned down just a little. Man, how does that smell though? Uh, well, I'm right over the bowl, so I can tell you firsthand, it smells amazing. Now, um, I, don't, I don't think I mentioned this, but this chicken, by the way, is thigh meat. This has become our favorite part of the uh, chicken is the thigh. There's something so flavorful about the thigh meat. Now, another thing too, when I prep the meat, I cut off the fat and then I typically like to get it flat. Some people fillet this. I have a hard time filleting uh, thigh meat. So I do beat it with the meat hammer to get it level and flat, which I failed to do. So we are gonna be careful Watch it. It's a little bit thicker, but the thigh meat doesn't get as thick as the breast meat if you're not cooking fillets. So it shouldn't take too long regardless. I, at l and our favorite Hawaiian restaurant there, they do <laughs> get it really, really thin and it lays out, it's so nice. So this will be a little bit different. So since this is like a teriyaki sauce, when we flip it, it's going to look really dark and that is just the 
just the um, the sauce. It's, which it's, has it's turned into a glaze, yeah. Which sugar, it has sugar on it, so it turns into a glaze, so it kind of caramelizes on there, which is good. All right, so we just get watch the process and uh, we'll enjoy this. So the middle is my hot zone, so those ones probably just about ready for a flip bread, or no, Couple not minutes. quite. Well, Almost, a another minute? So. Yeah. So total cook time, we're expecting about five to seven minutes. We'll go three or four minutes for a side, flip it, baste it. No, so it'll be a little closer to 10 minutes. Yeah. Because we'll let it go another three or four minutes and then flip it. We won't baste after that because we're, we are dealing with uh, marinade that has the raw chicken and we'll, we'll get rid of that. And then, uh, we yeah. Do, we do have some fresh off to the side for, <laughs> like Adam said, Can't for uh, dipping and, and putting on after. Oh, man. Looks like barbecue chicken, Brett. You don't say. I just did say, literally, that's, those are the words that I just said. You did, you did, ma boo. Oh man, that's looking really good, right? And that just looks and smells. It so smells good. The sweetness of mm. this this barbecue teriyaki sauce is amazing. Having lived in Hawaii, I've been wanting to do this one. The first time we did our country style wing um, ribs. ribs, and I saw Mike Brett, we burned them. Nope, that's the char. That's because there's sugars in here, so it just caramelized and it adds such great flavor. So we're just about ready to plate this up. I did grab you a plate. Actually. I'm gonna kill these because they're gonna continue to cook. All right, Brett, go ahead and start stacking some of that chicken here. We'll stack these up on here, dude. They're looking fantastic. And then Kenzie, I think we're just about ready for, for some B roll. B -roll. While we're waiting for that B-roll, actually, we've got this really hot right now. We turned off the heat so it doesn't have the direct heat coming on. This right here, that is caked on there. That's not going anywhere. So what we have found, a little steam goes a long way on these cooks. Yeah, this is the only time we put water on the Blackstone is after, after the initial cook, cook with, uh -huh. with sugar in it. Look at that, that's just cutting right through that. So where before I was having to really grind, And word to the wise, if you are gonna do this, once this water hits, it steams. It is scalding water. Right. Don't so, rush that scraper through, it will splash up on you. It hasn't happened to us, fortunately, but I have seen pictures of people getting blisters for doing that. So just keep that in mind right. when you're doing this. So as you can see, it looks like it looks like this is flaking up. This is just actually the charred on sugar. sugar. So as you can see, it's it's building up there and it's getting a little rough. All right, so just kind of clean it up now from this. I'll just go ahead and uh, let it cool down a little bit. I'll get some oil on there, wipe it down, and keep wiping. I do that process until it's completely clean. So we have a couple of videos where we show our cleaning process. I just wanted to show you a quick clean after a really messy cook. Well, Brett, there it is. Now, I do gotta say, aside from the Hawaiian 
teriyaki sauce that we use, the Hawaiian barbecue sauce that yep. I made. I do also have the recipe for the mac salad, which I also made last <laughs> night. So we do you want to let that chill overnight? I'm, I'm excited for you to try that and see how that is. I'm excited that, for me to try it too. Listen, this is, uh, this was a fun, this was easy cook for me. I did a whole lot of nada <laughs> just sitting in my waiting. <laughs> well, you did the, you did build the marinade. I so. did, I did put, I did the pre-cook, right? <laughs> That's right. All right, but like we say, it can look amazing. Check that box. It can smell amazing. Oh, I was over the cook the whole time. I checked that box. My favorite, and real quick, is when I have to go inside and then come back out real quick, I, which I had to do during this cook. And when I came out, it just smelled like barbecue, like a, like a, a Hawaiian, amazing Hawaiian barbecue. barbecue. Yeah. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for, for not. not. Little station identification, we realized we needed to cut the chicken. <laughs> yeah. We went to all for not. Now yeah, we're gonna eat this. Cut the chicken. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> but Brett, if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for not. not. Cheers. I'll lead to that, my brother. Welcome to Hawaii. Yeah, bro. Is it good? Oh my gosh, yes. Let it go in, sink it more and more. Now we want to try it pure. Now we're getting some mac salad, get some rice up in here, get the whole kit and caboodle right there. Oh, plate lunch Cheers, my court. brother. <laughs> that nice cold mac salad. Mm. Little zippies. Um, Absolutely. I gotta put this down. I cannot wait. It's, it will happen. Mm. It's gotta happen, man. Mm. The Wall Twins will be cooking on a Blackstone in Hawaii. Mm. Deal. This just has to go on the list of, of one of the tops just because you saw how quick and easy it cooked up right, right. on the Blackstone. Mm -hmm. The way that the, the teri teriyaki barbecue sauce glazed up and car caramelized on the chicken. It's perfect. It is perfect. It's got this nice teeny sweet note. Just the slightest sweet note and then savory and a tang. It has an amazing tang to it. All right, well, I'm glad you like it because I love this. I've made this before here at home and I do absolutely love it. But Brett, let's get to the mail real quick oh, before yeah, we wrap up. <laughs> I think we're getting ready to wrap it right, up. I know. So this one, this is special. I appreciate Frank. Frank Marulo, thank you so much for reaching or out AKA to us. Frank Mon from Montana. Frank from Montana, thank you so much for the love that you've shown us lately. And he said, yeah, I just something little for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and dig on into this. Yeah. All right, here we go, bro. There you go. Here, you hold that. I love that. Oh, wow, holy cow. A handwritten letter. Thank you so much for this. Okay, so basically what, what Frank has sent us is a cookbook. It's a wild game and fish cookbook with Native American and, recipes. And that is Frank on the cover of this. This is awesome. Wow, man, I absolutely Frank, love so it. so much appreciated. So let me see that real quick. Wow, so not only is this an amazing cookbook, but this book is also filled with stories and other things. We can't wait to spend time digging into this, looking at this, and we'll look at um, some of the recipes we can actually throw on the griddle, man. What I love about this, Frank, is Todd Tovin is another big hunter, and so you know what? We're gonna see about getting him a copy. We'll be in touch, Frank. Thank yes, you so absolutely. much for this. This is awesome. Absolutely, what a treat. So we love the personal touch. We love the personal letter. These kinds of things mean so much to us, and this is why we do what we do. We have a community that follows us. We want to always return the love as well. But Frank, thank you so much. Frank, that was absolutely a personal touch. We absolutely love the personal handwritten letter. That means so much to us. We're humbled by it, so thank you so much. Brett, we could go on and on. Yeah. We could go on and about this. I keep tasting that. And I even keep getting a hint of that white pepper that mm -hmm. is in the um, that's in the mac salad. I just want to keep devouring it. Like it's like I'm at a restaurant in Hawaii. I, I, 100%. Absolutely. Or at a barbecue, at a family yeah. barbecue. Yeah, there that's we how go. it is. But Brett, aside from coming to make this amazing Hawaiian barbecue and just coming Eating out it? and chilling one more time on the Blackstone Griddle, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. Thank <laughs> you.